it's Hap. I am back again and today I am going to talk about painting your nails. You've probably heard about a thing called the three stroke method where you paint your whole nail in three strokes. Most of the time that particular three stroke method is not 100% effective because you really need four strokes. So I'm going to show you another way of doing it. But first we'll go over what you normally would actually do. So I'm just using this L'Oreal, this is Lush Tangerine, just because it was near me. So the first thing you've got to consider is how you wipe your brush. When you're painting your own nails, you should wipe your brush. Sorry, angle was a little bit off here. Wipe your brush in such a way that you leave nail polish on the side of your brush that you want to paint your nails with. So if I brush that way on the bottle and then go to paint my nails, I've actually taken all of the polish off the side I want to paint my nails with. So when you're painting your own nails, you want to wipe on, wipe on the side that's closest to you so that when you paint your nails, you have polish on the side where your nail is. So the traditional three stroke method looks something like one stroke down the center of the nail, one stroke down one side, one stroke down the other side, and of course remembering to cap a tip. And it works, but often what I find is I then have this urge to put another stroke down the middle because with some polishes what you actually get I noticed I didn't do this one very well what you sometimes get is a couple of lines and you kind of want to get rid of them because they don't look right so the other method of doing this is one that I was actually taught by my nail tech lecturer um, so this is not like a secret I did not come up with this myself this is just another way of actually doing it so same process in a lot of ways except for brush down near the base of the nail push back just a little bit swoop down to one side and then come back and swoop down the other side and then do one stroke down the middle Cap your tip. And this is really useful if you happen to have polishes which are that dry really really quickly. I mean this particular brush is quite wide so it makes it kind of really easy to do. But what I'll do is I will grab I'll grab a completely different polish. Um, this one's just a cheapy brand. Um, just a satin one. It has a more traditional brush. Right, so we'll do the same thing. Start at the base of the nail, swoop your brush down one side, come back, swoop your brush down the other side, and then one stroke down the middle and cap your tip. Now clearly this is not as good a nail polish, I'd have to do like another coat, but you can see probably more effectively how it actually works, and it does work more effectively than the other one. The, I'll do the traditional on the pointer finger. So generally you go down the middle, down one side, down the other side, and you see that big blobby thing there? That makes me always want to go back down again. So if we go back to this one. If you start at the base, swoop down on one side, swoop down on the other side and then your stroke down the middle evens everything out. 
with my snail polishes. My snail polish is a bit thin and nasty. But that is just another way for you to paint your nails quickly and effectively without too much difficulty. It does take practice. It's not the easiest thing. Sometimes I even don't do it. But it does give a fairly consistent end result most of the time. So that's it for this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked this. Let me know down below whether you'd like me to do more how-to type videos. Um, and if you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Um, yeah, and leave me any other comments that you might have. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.